I'm going to show you how to use CreateMate with NAN to auto-generate captions for a YouTube Shorts. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Templates, and then we're going to go hit New, and then we're going to go over to Auto Subtitles. So I just like the look of this red one. So this is the one we're going to go with. This is a Shorts, so we're going to go 9 over 16. We're going to create template. So the first thing we're going to do is they have this outro. We do not need that, so we're just going to delete that. So now we're just working with the titles and then the video. Normally in the video, you'll just want to make sure it has dynamic checked. So the subtitles will automatically be transcripted from the video. And as you can see, the video will be this video right here. We also want to make sure it's dynamic, but this is with the template, so automatically. And then if you want, I personally like to modify this. Usually on YouTube, there's items down here. So, so we are going to go up here and we're going to put this at 70% maybe even 65%, bring it up a little bit higher. We'll increase the size and we'll increase the line spacing to 140. Uh, then that looks good. So now we are gonna go over to use template and CreativeMate doesn't have a NAN template. So we just use the API integration. And this is where we just have to copy and paste this curl request. So what we're gonna do is copy and paste this link. And this is also a post request. And then we are gonna go and add a step and we're going to do an HTTP request. And this is going to be post, like we said, and then we're going to grab the index. Now we're just going to copy and paste all this right here. So we have the content type and this is the header flag, the dash H. So we're going to go send headers and we're going to say content type. And then we're going to grab application dot uh, slash JSON and then go back and paste it in. And then we are also going to also get our authorization and authorization. And then we are going to get our API key, which is right here. Copy, paste. I don't believe this got the right key. So we are actually going to go copy, paste here. Going to go to the next line. And then we're going to hit copy and paste. And that should give us the whole key. And then if you do not want to do that, we can go out of here and we go to CreateMate and then we go to project settings. And then we get the API key and we just copy and paste this. And then we have to keep the bearer in. We just delete that and then paste that. So that is the key. Okay, so now let's go back to our template. Use template. And then the next thing we're going to do is the body. So we're just going to copy and paste here, not get the quotations. And this is the body of the request. So we're going to go down send body. JSON using JSON and then paste that in. So now we have the template ID that we are going to be using, which we just made. And then we have the video source. And so this is where you would actually go and do your JSON.ID or JSON.mp4 file that you would grab from the previous input. In this case, I am making this baby video. And so what I'm going to do is just grab this link right here. And I made sure this is public on the share. And instead of having an input field, I'm just going to manually copy and paste this in. You'll just grab the MP4 file from any previous node and put it here so it's dynamic. And then we're going to execute step. Okay, now we have ID status planned. And so now we can go back to create to me and we'll go to the API log. And it looks like it failed. So the transcription was unsuccessful. It's because this link was not the right link. And the link sent it to a folder. So instead, we're going to go back to the video and we're going to hit share. We're going to copy link, go back to our workflow and copy and paste this. So this is the actual sharing link. And now we're going to execute step again. Okay, this took about one minute. And as we can click on here, we can see we... No, it was good. I went home. My parents haven't... We have the video with the subtitles. Now is what we do is we would wait maybe a minute because that's how long it took for this video to render. And then we would take this URL and download it and upload it to Google Drive or upload it to YouTube.